Welcome back guys to another engine build episode in today's episode we're gonna be removing the old valve stem seals that are in here Let's fo if it focuses inside there we're gonna be cleaning the head so it's uh, ready to be installed obviously we're gonna put some new valve stem seals for the intake and exhaust side as well I'll show you quickly how it's done I won't show you too much in the video since it's so tight I will show you a bit once I take it off and show you with the tool how you're supposed to do it um, it's a job I despise doing I hate doing that uh, it's not satisfying it's time consuming as well because you want to make sure everything's seated properly and you do not want to damage the new valve stem seal as well so I'll show you guys how I'm doing it okay so first of all you need a special tool for that uh, there's universal ones there's volvo specific one i'll be quite honest i'm not even sure if the one that i have is a volvo specific one it's been so long that i don't even know if mine is a volvo specific one um well anyway if you look the way it's made so you have at the very bottom on the seat you have that washer and on top of it you have the valve stem seal that way and you have to understand on, on the inside there's a small um, like middle piece I'm not sure how it's called in English so that one goes here it holds it and the small piece here it will also hold with tension the the valve stem seal so what you want to do is if you see the way it's made whenever I press it here it expands look it opens and then when I tighten it it shrinks on itself it becomes tighter look opens shrinks open shrinks so whenever I do that I open it it becomes bigger than the valve steam, valve stem seal itself so whenever it goes inside that way and I close on it obviously it's a bit hard that way because I'm just handling it with my hand there you go so it's it's being held with the grooves on the inside so when I tighten it I can just pull slowly and it doesn't need to be a, a crooked you're gonna be careful for that so you want to pull it out as parallel with the hole as possible and then just pop it out and there you go whenever it comes to installing the, the new one again there's Volvo specific tools but I'd say 99% of people that build engines are only gonna use sockets it's way easier and if you do take your time with it you won't damage anything so this is the old one here if you look I don't know I'll try to zoom there you go so you have the metallic piece here you have the rubber and the small uh, it's not a spring it's like an o-ring spring I'm not sure it keeps the tension on it on the valve and you ha so you have it's two different materials you have the rubber and uh, I'm not sure if it's aluminum or whatever I think it is so you want to take a, a socket obviously you want to make sure it fits properly you want to make sure it doesn't hit the center it doesn't hit the small here the small ring on the here over there you do not want it to be splitting the two materials as well it's gonna be seated just perfectly here on the side just perfectly so if you look if I show you look it's seated just perfectly so uh, some people use 10 millimeters for the, this job I personally use uh, an 11 millimeter you can do it with a 10 uh, in my in my experience I rather use the 11 and take my time there's less chances of actually putting too much stress on the rubber and having it fail a bit later when the engine heats up and everything so for the part numbers for the uh, valve seals for the intake side it's gonna be uh, 9443787 you're gonna obviously need 10 of these because it's two valves per cylinder head and then for the exhaust side, uh, it's gonna be 313-16151. So I'll show you an example of one of them. So I have my tool here. I make sure it's aligned properly. So I'm gonna press it 
align it. Once it's seated properly, I'm gonna press the aluminum part down. You see how it stiffens up? And when I pull, I wanna pull in the same direction with the, with the hole. I don't wanna bend the, the small metal piece. So I put my hand here, just hold it in parallel. There you go. Okay, now you can see. So the valve stem seals are off. But if you look carefully, I'm gonna try to show you. So on that side here, I took off the washer. On that one here, no. Since there's a perfect groove for the perfect size of the washer, it's extremely hard to take it off without scratching the surface, the perfectly machined surface, without breaking this or the outer diameter too. So my personal advice would be use one of these. It's just perfect. Obviously, don't put too much tension so the blade breaks. You wanna squeeze it in between here, just slowly apply even pressure until it pops that way. I'm struggling a bit because I'm looking through the camera, but there you go. You see, so it's off. Then I take a small set of pliers, take it gently, and there you go, it's off. I personally put them back in the same order uh, I'll be honest with you uh, Volvo doesn't say if you need to put them back in the same exact order I I mean it pretty much goes without saying that you should to avoid any issues maybe they they change shape or whatever it is with time so it's better to just put them back the same way so I'll do one two three four five six till two ten and then same thing here for the exhaust I'll clean them one by one, by one, put them back in the same place, and that's pretty much it. So all of the intake side is out. You can see here, they're in order. I completely forgot to mention, and, I, and even in the video I was doing it the, the, the wrong way. I was trying to apply it from, like put tension from the top. It's better to go from the bottom, because if you look, it's angled. So there's a bit more pressure on the bottom side. So it's easier to put a bit of tension and just slowly go that way. I'm barely putting any pr uh, pressure. You can see that there's some gunk and some oil. It's hard to focus. On underneath the uh, washer. Uh, the reason why uh, you have to be careful with the small razor with the blade is because whenever there is a perfect flat surface on both ends and there is liquid with higher viscosity, so it's like oil pretty much, it's literally oil, uh, it's gonna have a um, suction effect if you want. So it's gonna have some uh, some tension, some forces if you want, that's keeping it in place. So that's why you need to be gentle and so you don't scratch the surface. Show you too the reason why I'm taking the time to do that. I know that there's not many people that take the time to do all of this step, but I personally wanna do it. If you look, whenever I'm gonna spray some brake cleaner, you're gonna see the old gunk just slowly look, look here at the bottom. You can see there was some buildup. Here I already did these. Like it's super clean, very satisfying. So once that done, I'll do the other side, which is exhaust. I'll clean everything. Uh, just run some water, uh, degreasers, just making sure everything's okay. Uh, put uh, some WD-40 all over the place so it avoids it having some uh, dust like here. Look, I don't know if you can see it through the camera. Wait, let me show you. You can see here, look on my, on my thumb, that white stuff. Because right, it's aluminum so it won't rust but it's gonna have some buildup on it. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll install it and the rest is gonna be just installing the the caps for the cams that go here, the valves and it's very very straightforward. I already have some race 
spring kits here ready to put some more revs into that five cylinder i really can't wait to just hear how it sounds with the turbo manifold and everything god it's it's blue ball city over here so it's all said and done everything is removed these are for the intake these for the exhaust i'm going to be cleaning them here and that's some all substance that thing works magic it removes everything that is oil based uh, really works really good so these are the old ones uh, i realized that the intake ones are a bit not softer but the rubber feels more, more like rubber but the uh, exhaust ones are crispy as hell <laughs> they maybe because of the heat or something i mean i'm there so i was changing them so i don't really care about the state but uh, yeah that's one one another step done Now that this is done, it's all cleaned, the surface is all shiny, everything's nice. Now time to install everything. I'm gonna use the old ones just for the example. So what I personally do, first of all, you wanna put the washer back, just make sure it's heated properly and everything, everything's clean on both surfaces, so the washer surface and the blocks, uh, the head surface, sorry. So what I do is I, with a small set of pliers, I'm gonna grab the, uh, which would be the new uh, valve stem seal. I'm gonna put a tad bit of grease around the, the knob, I guess. I'm not sure how it's, I'm really not sure how it's called that thing, the metal piece sticking out. And I'm gonna put a tad bit on the inside as well, making sure there's just enough coverage, not too much. It's very important. If you put, if you put too much of it with heat, it can kind of squeeze the uh, the seal out of its place, and you're gonna have either uh, leaking in the exhaust manifold, burning oil, and whatnot. So let's avoid that. Just put a film of oil, like grease. Sorry, just a film of it, just so there's so it's uh, nice, nicely put inside. So what I do is I just let it sit here and then I would go take my special tool just an extension with the 11 millimeter I would just press it evenly on it here let's take that here so it would be, it would be like that but inside in of here and same thing you don't press that way not that way it doesn't it, it really shouldn't be crooked and just push slowly and whenever you start feel a resistance because you're at the bottom you don't want to keep going so you uh, you bend the uh, the outer rim here that you can see you want to avoid bending or damaging the new ones so very important to go slowly take your time patience 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 is key whenever it comes to these kind of jobs very important to take your time and that's literally it it's just time consuming, everything's fragile. That's the only reason I really hate doing that job, but it's it's an easy job. So if you made it that far, I really appreciate it. So if you made it that far, I really appreciate you. Uh, you guys keep putting some nice comments, liking the videos and a lot more subscribers than when I first started. So I do wanna say thank you to everyone again. If you feel the need to have more information, something that I missed out, whatever it is, feel free to comment down below or send me a DM. I'll do my best to answer as quickly as possible. So, so that's done and thank you guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.